Well, next week we'll kick the, off the race for the White House and it will kick it into high gear with polls opening in more than a dozen states. But that's not all. President Biden also gives his State of the Union speech come Thursday. Rebecca Castor reports from D.C. The biggest day of the presidential nominating contest is just days away. It's dubbed Super Tuesday when voters in 16 states will head to the polls. We just need to be sensible. We need to figure out what's really good for this country. The economy is one of the biggest things, uh, the crisis at the border. On the Republican side, both Donald Trump and Nikki Haley are far from locking up the nomination. But with Trump leading in most states, Super Tuesday could get him pretty close, even as he juggles courtrooms with the campaign trail. I will be tough and I will be fair and I will be seeking to make America great again. But Haley says as long as she's competitive, she's staying in the race. She picked up delegates in Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina and raked in another $12 million last month, keeping her campaign well-funded. We don't anoint kings in America. We have elections, and everybody has the right to decide how they want to use the power of their voice. Next week is not only high stakes for Republicans, but for President Biden as well. He gives his State of the Union address on Thursday, a prime opportunity to show off for voters. It's my hope and expectation that what we will hear from President Biden uh, will continue to be uh, his vision for what the next several years will look like. Nikki Haley has not committed to staying in the race past Super Tuesday, but has squashed rumors that she's interested in running for a third party. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.